Our differences worldwide would vanish if we were facing an alien threat from outside this world. These objects have been tracked since the early 1950s, if not earlier, traveling up to 7,000 miles per hour, making right angle turns at high rates of speed. With all due respect to the Air Force, I believe that some of them will prove to be of interplanetary origin. Our commanders and all told us, just keep your mouth shut about it. We can't say it did or it didn't. So for 64 years, I've been trying to explain what we saw. And you're the first guys that really want to know what I saw. Well, I have interviewed hundreds of people who claim to have had amazing sightings, including those who claim to have been abducted. If we go back to, say, the Middle Ages in England, we get reports of fairies, of goblins, of little creatures, and they parallel eerily today's abduction experiences with the so-called greys. I think we're dealing with beings that are creating a meme to sow the seeds of belief in extraterrestrials when in reality there's something extremely different. For me, the experience has really started with what I would call manifestations. You can't do anything. They're in total control. I became paralyzed and the entity or whatever it was that was doing this to me was laughing at me and I was so afraid. I didn't know what to do. I can't remember whether I said, Jesus, 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 or Jesus, help me, Jesus, help me. But at that instant, my experience stopped and I hit the bed, which woke my wife up and she asked me what I was doing jumping on the bed. If these actually are extraterrestrial entities flying millions of light years across space, why would they be afraid of the name of Jesus and run from you when you bring him up? I think you'll find the truth. It's a lot stranger than most people realize.